Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about injuries, injury prevention, and how to treat injuries when you have them. So often in class I get approached by students who have an injury. Because I don't have the time in class to help everyone the way I would like to, I'm putting this all on video and that way you guys can come online and look at the video when you need it. Hopefully. So I'm going to just cover a few basics today and hopefully you find this helpful. So the first thing is a rule that we have at our studio. Once you have an injury and it's persisting for a week, that's when I recommend to everyone to go and see a doctor, chiropractor, physiotherapist, any healthcare professional. This video is not to replace the advice of a professional, it's just to assist you if you already know you have an injury or if you're just having a flare up of an existing injury that you've already had assessed. So if you've had your injury checked and you know it's uh, say shin splints, or something of the sort. The most important thing is to follow the advice of your physiotherapist, which is usually resting, icing, which is really important, so probably they'll say twice a day, 20 minutes, and they'll usually also give you some stretches and strengthening exercises to do, and massage. So massage and ice I find the most helpful for my injuries. Um, the stretching is also super important, um, especially because a tight muscle in one area can cause the other area pain. With us Irish dancers, we're always on our toes, so I'm just going to cover the calves and feet today. Some people say they don't have time to ice, so the best way to ice um, is actually to wrap it on there. So be careful because when you first take your ice pack out of the freezer, it can be too cold to leave in one place for a long time. So take it out, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then wrap it on. You don't want to get a burn on top of everything else. I'll just show you what I do. You don't have to follow this, but I just find it efficient because I can uh, tape it on and then have my breakfast, you know, forget about it kind of thing. If your injury is somewhere where you have clothing already, you just apply the pack. But say it's on your foot or lower leg where your clothes doesn't go. So I just take a cloth and I lay it over the place I'm going to ice. And just take the ice pack, lay it where it hurts the most. And then I just take a tensor bandage and I wrap it around to secure it. And this doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to look good, just Wrap it around a few times. When you're happy, I just tuck it in. Usually I leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes or whatever your physio or doctor recommends. You can walk around and get your icing done at the same time. Remember to stretch your injuries as well. I find the stair stretch to be the best. Um, so I have an injury in my foot. This calf stretch helps prevent it for me. So you place just the ball of your foot onto the edge of the step. I always use the bottom step. It's safer. You just release your heel down as far as it can go, keeping your knee straight. You hold this for 30 seconds. The second stretch, you hold this position and bend the knee as deeply as it can go, with the heel still lowered. This stretch is great for people that have tight Achilles tendons in the back, or if they have tight calves, or if they have sore feet. I think most of us are familiar with a TheraBand. These ones I picked up at London Drugs, um, but I'm sure you can get them anywhere. So I'll just show you when you open it. You get two bands. This one's a little lighter, and this is a little heavier. So it depends on what your physio wants you to use. The important thing is using it regularly. So there's a few ways that you can use these. You wanna make sure you're getting all four directions of your ankles when you're using them. So you want to wrap around your ankle, and you want to be pushing against the TheraBand. So that can be done using your own hands. You wrap it around the ball of your foot, and you point your toes. The second way is to be pulling with the foot. So that one's a little harder. You have to find something strong and wrap the band around it. Tie the band in a knot and then you wrap it around your toes and pull the band toward you. So you wrap it around the top of your foot this time. And the third way is side to side. So for each side, you have it in a knot at one end. So you tie it up really tight at one end. You wrap it around the side of your foot. Say it's on this side and then you pull away and then the other way you turn around, other side of your foot, and you pull. The ankle is going to be moving in four different directions, so that's really helpful if you have weak ankles, or if you have a sprain, or if you have sprained before. Remember, dancers, to prevent. So if you've already sprained your ankle, it's quite weak, and you are doing your exercises, tape it the way that it's recommended by the physio, and make sure that you do that before class, or if you're practicing at home. The next tool that's super helpful are massage tools. So you have your massage ball, this one I use on my calves and my feet. It depends on where you're hurting that you want to use it. And the next good tool for massaging is 
a device like this. It's I think it's officially called the Tiger Tail. Um, I got mine at Canadian Tire. The center rolls and the sides you just hold on to like this. So when you're doing your calves, you can just push up on it like this. And you just want to get your whole calf, and you can do your foot, but I find the ball is better for the foot. I'll show you the rolling. So you place the ball somewhere safe, and then you just place your foot on and you can just roll. You can roll the calf the same way. So you place it under the calf, and you just roll. The tiger tail can work better for that, because it covers more surface area a lot faster. And uh, if you do have tight calves, or even if you don't have an injury, you might want to try just massaging your calves because we spend so much time on our toes. So especially on the sides here of the back, you'll actually feel kind of a knot there quite often. Um, I know I do. So you can do the, the sides and then also the middle. And use quite a bit of pressure. You don't want to use so much that you actually bruise yourself. Um, I've actually done that before, so be careful. Yeah, and then so once you're finished with your massaging, your icing, and your stretching, and your resting, hopefully you will feel a lot better. Now remember, preventing your injuries or treating your injuries helps us to dance a lot longer. So with ice, stretch, and massage, hopefully your dance career will be a long one and a healthy one. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you all in class. If you like this video, please subscribe or click like below. For information on classes at MJP, please visit our website at mjpacademy.com. To follow us on social media, please see the links below.